everyone, my name is Lunu Kupina. The second day of the World Championship turned out to be very emotional. A lot of tears of joy, sadness, expectations, and surprises. This tournament really brings a lot of emotions, even though not everyone is participating. So in the video, we will talk about how the second day ended, who else withdrew from the tournament, and who entered the history of rhythmic gymnastics today. And before the start of the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also in the Telegram channel, you can follow the news online. There, all the results and all the news from the tournament comes out as quickly as possible. Well, and since YouTube is not monetized now, I will be especially pleased if you can support me using the links in the description. Thank you very much in advance. On Thursday, September 15th, the gymnast performed in the qualification with clubs and ribbon. Thurs, the selection for individual all-around final, which will take place on Saturday, has ended. 18 gymnasts will perform there, and the girls also competed for medals in the finals of individual events in clubs and ribbon and were selected for the individual all-around final for the world championship in 2023 well how it all ended now we will discuss traditionally to be selected to the all-around final the three best events were counted so according to the results of the three events, Sofia Raffaele became the first, and by not a very large margin. The ribbon went well, but the clubs in the qualification were not as successful. Stiliana Nikolova, a gymnast from Bulgaria, came second in qualification. It was also not possible for her to go through her routine cleanly. In general, this was a problem for many today. So in the clubs, Stiliana tumbled from an element and uh, there was a loss in the ribbon and in general a lot of dirt in the apparatus. Daria Verfalmeev became third in qualifying. However, she also failed to pass her programs without errors. The thought crept into my head that the finalists clearly did not get enough sleep. In clubs, Dasha had a weak turn and also in one place she threw the club in the wrong direction and around across the carpet to get it but at least there was no loss there were also losses and dirt in the ribbon so at the very beginning and towards the end the ribbon did not want to remain in the hand and lay down on the carpet Margarita Kolosov, another German gymnast, advanced from 4th place to the all-around final. In the ribbon, she made a loss in a risk and blurred the entire ending. But with the clubs, she did well in qualification. Viktoria Priyanko, the gymnast of Ukraine, advanced to the finals of individual all-around from 5th place and also could not pass her routines cleanly. So in the ribbon, the apparatus simply fell out of the hands on the footé. And then, according to the scheme of Milena Baldassari, Vika threw the ribbon across the carpet. In clubs, Vika also made a loss on an element. Ekaterina Vidaneva, representing Slovenia, became the sixth. In the ribbon, Katya changed the music. Unfortunately, I really like the previous one. But in terms of execution, she went well with both clubs and ribbon. Adia Sekads from Israel passed from seventh place. Also doing her routine without any errors or losses. Milena Baldassari, the Italian gymnast, fought today in both events and could not even qualify for any of the finals. So in the ribbon, there was an entanglement, a loss out of the carpet and a run. A knot. In clubs, she had a loss in a risk. I suppose that because of the late end of yesterday's finals, she simply did not have time to recover. But fortunately, there is time to recover for the finals of individual all round, where Milena went from 8th place. Spain's gymnast Alba Bautista moved from 9th place, which is of course a great success for a gymnast from this country. And the top 10 in qualification was closed by Azerbaijani gymnast Zokra Khamirva. Also in the final of individual all around, we will see Takmina Kramova from Uzbekistan, Anais Dragon from Romania, Fanny Bignitsky from Hungary, Aljana Taneva from Kazakhstan, Evita Griskinaz and Lili Mizuno from USA, Marina Malpica from Mexico, which by the way was a great achievement for Mexican gymnastics and probably already a victory. Well, Zhao Yating from China still managed to jump into the finals of individual all around. So far, she hasn't been doing very well in the tournament. Well, who are you missing here? Andrea Verdes, the Romanian gymnast, unfortunately could not jump into the final. She literally lacked a couple of tenths. Paulina Berezina, the gymnast of Spain as a whole, did not succeed in this tournament. Perhaps one of the reasons is that Paulina came to the tournament without her personal coach. If you read the Telegram channel, you know that in general, there are a 
lots of problems in the Spanish Federation, including in leadership. Helen Karbanov, a French gymnast, also failed to reach the final, although she showed consistently good results. But unfortunately, she did not manage to get together at the World Championships. The gymnast of Japan, whom I personally was looking forward to in the final, Kita Simurea, also made many mistakes on the first day, so there was no chance for the final, but in the end she stopped at 32nd place. Well, briefly about the best from the end in all around. So the last place was taken by a gymnast, Alma Pedersen, gymnast from Denmark. In general, since there are not so many gymnasts at the world championship, the difference between first and last place is not that big. And the level of gymnasts from first and last place is not that different as at the previous world championships. Now it's possible to see the huge difference at the continental championships, for example at the African championship. Armenian gymnast Mary Pagasyan took the second before last place in qualification. I'm honestly upset that Silvia did not come here, but I hope this is only to strengthen her and we will see her again. But I think Mary will obviously be lower in skill than her. 75th place was taken by the gymnast representing Bosnia and Herzegovina, Amila Bekirovic. South African gymnast Yula Galukhik rose a little higher, judging by her name and her surname, not quite a native African. While our top is closed from the end by San Marino gymnast Matilda Tamjini. Write in the comments what you think about the fact that at the World Championship we don't see gymnasts who are completely below the level. I honestly like to look at such gymnastics and see how gymnastics is developing in other countries. Maybe it was worth dividing them by strength into streams, but I really miss the color. Well, another tragedy happened for Marfa Yukimova, who suffered a knee injury and was forced to leave the competitive field. In general, this tournament, as you see, is full of injuries and and withdraws. But on the other hand, the Russian media are starting to talk more and more about the fact that Russia and Belarus will soon be allowed. So I hope that the next world championship will be full-fledged. According to the news about Brianna Kalane, she is still in the hospital, she feels better, but she is still very weak. It's not yet known when Brianna will be able to return to the gym. They assume that it will not be soon. The entire Federation of Bulgaria, friends, family and fans support Brianna. Daria Tamanov was seen with the cast in the performance hall. According to the results of the qualifications, the gymnasts also won places for the next world championship. So the countries of those gymnasts who made it into the finals of the individual all around for the world championship in 2023 will be able to send two gymnasts from the country. This right was won by the Italian gymnast, Bulgarian gymnast, Germany, Ukraine, Slovenia, Israel, Spain, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, Romania, Hungary, Kazakhstan, USA, Mexico, and China. The absolute world champion will also receive an additional nominal place, just like Dina Verna had this place this year, if not for the suspension. Well, for sure, there will be questions how did Brianna Kalin and Daria Atamanov get vouchers for countries without taking part. The fact is that according to the regulations, those countries that have reached the finals of the individual all around receive two tickets, and it does not matter if one gymnast had reached the final or two. Well, let's talk about the finals and the medals. What I really like in the finals is a huge amount of real emotions of joy and sadness. You see real feelings on the faces and sincerely believe in the scores and placement on the podium that the judges evaluate the gymnast fairly. A thought does not creep into your head that someone was not given something. So unexpectedly for the whole world, Dario Verflame won gold in the final with clubs. This was the first gold medal for United Germany and the first German medal since 1975. This means that Dasha became the third in history of gymnastics who brought the gold of the world championship to Germany. The stream was worth watching not only because of the performances but also because of the real emotions in kiss and cry and at the award ceremonies. Dasha is always very emotional but here she was just uh, very overwhelmed with feelings. I'm sincerely glad and congratulate her for this victory. In terms of performance, Dasha did a good job with the program and since she performed after the main leaders, she understood everything perfectly. Stylana Nikolova again won the silver medal for her country. Many people think that in the all-around they will put 
her on the first place. It will be interesting to see if this will be done so. Here in the final with clubs, unfortunately, there were mistakes and despite the fact that she is very emotional through the screen, it is not enough to be a champion at this time. Although the history of gymnastics proves to us that losses are not everything. But it was the mistake that did not allow Sofia Raffaele to climb above the bronze medal. I really like the moment when Sofia was calmed down by her coach in the kiss and cry. With such mistakes, I think Sofia was happy with the bronze. But of course, she was upset that she didn't manage to gather at the right moment. Although the most stressful time will probably be on Saturday. It will be really interesting who will be able to show their maximum. The fourth place in the clubs was taken by Sokmina Kromova, a journalist from Uzbekistan, who did well with her program. Behind her was Margarita Kolosov, who also did not pass the program badly. Victoria Anaprienko became sixth, a wonderful routine, very musical, and Vika is doing very well. But unfortunately, mistakes were made, which did not allow her to fight for the medals. Ekaterina Vidaneva in the clubs received a penalty for ending behind the music, and in the end, she seemed very upset for this. But there were inaccuracies in the routine. The final with the ribbon ended with the victory of Sofia Raffaele. She coped with her program and added one more gold medal to her collection. Just so everyone is aware, Sofia has already become a three-time world champion. Who would have known that this little girl could be so pretty? Silver was won by Stiliana Nikolova. It was she who was the main contender for the finish with Sofia. But unfortunately, there was dirt and inaccuracies, so the podium was quite fair. But the bronze medal was a real surprise and joy for the whole world of rhythmic gymnastics. Despite their inaccuracies, Ekaterina Dineva, a Slovenian gymnast who is definitely loved by the whole world and many were waiting for this medal, so here she finally got it. Katya herself was not very happy with the performance, but I think when she found out that this was enough for the medal, she overflowed with joy. At least in her social media, she wrote a wonderful post with gratitude and with very cool words that she and her team proved that even after 25 years, you can achieve something in gymnastics. I'm very glad and sincerely congratulate her. After all, this world championship is amazing, at least because of such emotions and victories. The fourth place with the ribbon was taken by Adia Sekats from Israel. For her, this place was very disappointing because according to the score, she scored identical points in third place, but her execution score did not allow her to win. Zokra Kamirova became the fifth, also not badly coping with her program. Alba Bautista followed her, unfortunately a mistake was made, because of which Alba was upset. But this was her final and it is already a great success. While the final with Ruben was closed by Fanny Pignitsky, the ribbon did not work out for her at all. However, for Hungary, this is the first finalist since 1996. Well, now what I wanted to say is that I read in the comments and in discussions many phrases in the format that these victories are not real and the girls win only because someone was not allowed or withdrew. Well, I fully disagree that due to the non-participation of someone, the medal automatically becomes non-real. Sport is not only your strength but also great luck. So so that everything works out at the right time and in the right place and the whole team is supposed to do everything correctly health physical strength finances coaches the political situation getting out of bed with the right mood eating the right things in general really behind every medal there is a combination of a huge number of circumstances behind any medal there is a huge amount of work sweat tears and own difficulties therefore Deappreciation of any medal is wrong. It may sound rude and I don't want to blame anyone in a way, but in fact, all the gymnasts who withdrew from the tournament are to blame themselves. A fracture, overtraining, oversight, luck, but the fact is that no one threw an elephant on Daria Tamano's leg and did not break her leg at night. Brianna Colleen and the infection are of course a great coincidence, but that means that somewhere someone did not follow up and did not pay enough attention. Russian Belarus, yes, the athletes themselves are not to blame, but they represent countries that were guilty in the conflict and most countries recognize to this and even if you don't agree with this, 
the majority is still to decide. No matter how sad this all is, it's also all a loss and the real winners are those who are on the podium, who are lucky, who have everything together and the gymnasts correctly say that this is not a victory of one person but the whole team and the whole country. So I'm sincerely happy for all the winners and sincerely sorry for all the gymnasts who could not perform here. The tournament didn't get any worse but a lot of new names just opened up for us. We continue to follow the championship as a world and remember the tale of you all very much and bye bye.